Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Let me get this light on. Okay, I hope it's much brighter in here. Hi everyone, I am so very glad to see all of you. Go ahead and say hi as soon as you come in. Go ahead and start saying hi. Let me say hi first. I had some technical difficulties earlier. Uh -oh. Hi to all of you. It is so very good to see you. I appreciate the two people that are here already. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and click the thumbs up. Give me a like. I'd really appreciate that. The first thing that we're going to do, as always, we're going to go over the sounds that each letter makes. Now, some of you may be tired of me doing this part, but this is the very most important part of learning how to read and learning to teach yourself how to read. Yes, you can teach yourself how to read because even after these classes are over, this is lesson number four. We're going to have 20 free lessons here on YouTube, and this is the only channel doing this in succession. 20 free classes of learning how to read. You go anywhere else, and there it's going to be a very short lesson, and anything longer than that, they're going to charge you to teach you how to read, and they're only going to teach you but so much. But what I want to do is to teach you, as the Bible says in paraphrasing, how to fish, how to teach yourself how to read. So even after these classes are over, you can still read a book if you utilize and use the tools and practice the tools outside of class at home on your own and get those around you to help you. So once you learn how to sound the sounds that each letter makes and how to sound out the words, then you can figure out what any word says. You can figure out how to pronounce any word. So please don't get tired of this part. This is very important. And I want you to repeat after me. This is the letter A. A makes the, it makes several sounds depending on the word. Repeat after me. A as an apple, A as an auto, A as an ape, B, B as in baby, B, B. It makes the B sound, B as in baby. The next letter is C as in cat. It makes the k, k sound. Say k, k. Hi, Countess. Hi, Bruce. And hi, Luke Bernard. And hi, everyone else that's watching. The next letter is D. It makes the d sound. Say d as in David, as in dog. The next letter is E. Say E as an egg. The next letter is F. It makes the p sound p, as in fish, say p. Okay. The next letter is G. It makes the g sound, say g, g as in girl or going or gone. The next letter is H. It makes the h sound, say h, h as in high or him. The next letter is I. It makes the I sound. I, I as in igloo. The next letter is J as in Jack. Say J, J. It makes the J sound. Everyone, please give me a thumbs up. Like the video. I'd really appreciate that. The next letter is K, say K, it makes the K sound, K, K. So yes, the letter C and the letter K both make the K sound. It just depends on the word. The next letter is L, it makes the L sound, L, 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 or L sound. Like love or like. And I hope that you all are repeating after me. And you should also have each of these letters written down on an index card so that someone at home can quiz you on the sounds that the letters make. They would show you the, the letter on the card and then you would tell them the letter and then tell them the sound that it makes and also tell them a word that begins with that sound. 
the next letter is M. It makes the mmm sound, such as mom or monkey or map. The next letter is N. It makes the mmm sound, say mmm, such as no or note. The next letter is O. It makes the O sound. Just say O. And the next, such as open or oven. The next letter is P. It makes the P sound. Say P, P, such as pickle or purple, like the color purple. The next letter is Q. It makes the qu sound, such as quack or quiet or quit. The next letter is R. It makes the R sound. Say R, R. I hope you all are practicing at home because if you don't practice at home, when it's time for you to learn a new word, you're not going to know the sound that that word makes. Again, this is about teaching yourself how to read. Don't just practice reading when you come to class. Practice outside of class as well. Okay. And this letter uh, is letter R. It makes the R sound such as reading or red, like the color red. The next letter is S. It makes the S sound, such as stop or store. The next letter is T. It makes the T sound, such as time or tomato. And a T makes the T sound, say T, T. Okay. The next letter is U. It makes the U uh sound or U sound such as uh, under, the next, word, the next letter is B, such as Victor. It makes the V sound, say V, like V is in Victor, or very. The next letter is W. It makes the W sound, W, W, such as white, like the color white, or when, or why. Those are some of the words that we learn. The next letter is X. It makes a X sound. Say X, X. Hi, Galele, and how da uh, Dami. Hi, and Countess. And this is X as in xylophone. The next letter is Y. It makes the Y sound. Say Y, Y, as in yes. Good evening, uh, Galele and Bruce. That is wonderful. Bruce says, I started reading a book called Little Lost Dog. That is wonderful. I'm going to clap for you. Great, do great job, Bruce, uh, because you, it's great to start at the elementary level. Then as you get those words down, then you can move on to the next level book. So don't be ashamed or, or afraid to start reading an elementary style book, elementary level book, because you have to learn the smaller words before you can progress to the bigger words. That's great. Great job. Okay, and this is why it makes the yes sound as in yes, yellow. Okay, and the next word is Z. It makes the Z sound, Z, such as zero or zebra. Okay, so again, I hope you have all of those letters written on an index card. Okay, so now I have already mixed up these cards. You already know what's next. Uh, with, I'm going to give the uh, link if and this is optional when I get the, the invite link, if anyone wants to come on and pronounce any of these words, because you have to interact in order to get these words down. Uh, what I want you all to do is when I show the word on, when I show you the word on the index card, you can pronounce it out loud. I want you to get used to saying words out loud um, to yourself. If anybody wants to click the link and come on here, I can have more than one person come on, that's fine and you can pronounce the words as best as you can, and I will help you if you are struggling in any way to pronounce the words. What I want you to do is to use the tools that I just taught you in the alphabet. Keep in mind the sounds that each letter makes, and I want you to uh, pronounce these words uh, with the understanding of the sounds that each letter makes. Until someone clicks the link, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, what word is this? This word is C's. It says the sound sees, sees, the cat sees me. This word is k, 
at cat. And this is a review, so I'm going to go a little bit fast because we have a lot to cover today. This is the letter A, and this is also the word A. I see a cat. This is the letter I, and this is the word I. I. I am talking to you. What is this word? TH has the th sound, the a, they. And if you are, are you seeing these words for the first time, go back and watch my first three videos where I cover the, I take the time to explain the sounds that each of these words make. We have a lot to cover today, so stay in class. The M, them. This. That. Try to say the word on your own first. It. And I know some of you are doing a great job. Why? You should be able to spell these words by now as well. If not, that means you need to practice with the flashcards at home. When. Where. What. Your. Cannot. Me. There. Can. Be. Such as. Uh, I will be seeing you. This is B as well, but this means the bumblebee. When you see the double E, that's talking about the insect, the bumblebee. Oops. C. Witch. Not like the wicked witch, but like which door are you leaving out of? The. And this is the letter TH makes the th sound at the beginning of a word. Again, if you don't know these words, you need to go back and watch the first uh, three videos. Every. There, such as there is a cat in the window sill. She. R. And this is a letter WH makes what sound class? Wa, wa, such as when or why or where. Those. Us. We, you, and the last word, and. Good job, good job. Let me know, put in the comment section if you got all of those right. Let me know if you got all of those right or if you got the majority of them right, let me know. I'm certain that all of you did a wonderful job. Give yourselves a hand, yay. Okay, so now what we go, the sound cut out. Can you hear me?
Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let me know, Dammy. Say yes or no, please. Can you hear me, Dammy? Okay, that was your Bluetooth. Okay, can you hear me now? Because I'm trying to talk without the headset on. Can you hear me now? Just say yes or no, someone, please. Okay, I'm just going to go by. Uh, uh, Galaylee put yes. So, all right. Okay, good. Because I was wondering if you could not hear me the whole time. Okay, so now. Okay, great. Great. That is wonderful. Now what we're going to learn is uh, some prefixes or words that you will hear at the beginning of a sentence. I want you to get your, uh, your index cards here and I want you to write these down. And these are gonna be different sounds that you will hear at the beginning that are prefixes at the beginning of a word. And it is about to rain here, so you may hear the storm. I'm gonna go over these individually in just a minute. Okay, so no, no, no one uh, else. Okay, thank you, Countess. All right, I'm gonna write that first one over again. So just uh, everyone, just let me write in the, um, in the uh, chat for right now so that I can write these words. Well, these prefixes. Write these on index cards. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and write these, write mine on the index cards. The first one is SH. And SH has the sh sound. Sh. S has the s, s and H has the h, h sound. So when you put those two letters together to make one sound, s, s, but it, it's it's not actually not gonna be s, h, it's gonna be sh, sh. That's the sound that it makes such as, I know this isn't a nice word, but such as shut up <laughs> or shop. Let me write the word. Oops. Shut up, that, that's the word shut up. But um, I know that's not a nice word, but Yeah, I'm gonna write that. Shut up, it's actually two different words. A uh, ship, excellent. <laughs> we can write that word down too, Bruce, that is wonderful. If you all wanna put some words in there that you know start with SH, that's fine. Ship, that's from Bruce. We can add that to our vocabulary too. Another word is shop. So some of you, if you know any words that start with SH, put them in the, in the group chat and we can add them to our vocabulary. Shop, like you shop at the store. Shipping, excellent, Dammy. And this is a good word to know if you're sending off anything to the post office. Shipping. Remember, write, write these words on your index cards. 
as well as in your notebook. You use the notebook uh, as to study when you're in your room, you can study with your notebook. But these index cards are for the person that is quizzing you on these words. So like they might have the card, spell the word shipping, then you say S-H-I-P-P-I-N-G. Or they might show you this word, what is this word? And then you learning uh, by using the tools that I taught you on the sound of, the, of each letter, then you can kind of sound it out and figure out how to pronounce this word, how to say it. Okay, so there's lots, uh, there's a few ways that they can quiz you. Okay, great, uh, Emma, she. She is already one of the words that we have on the uh, index card. Okay, so that is great. All right, now the next letter, excuse me, the next prefix is WH, which we went over that before. I already have WH written somewhere on one of these. Oh, here it is. I just, okay, okay, WH. I already have that written down. And we went over a few words such as what, where, when, okay, should, great, uh, for SH, uh, Luke Bernard, we can add that to our vocabulary. That's fine. Excellent. Great job. And you all are spelling your words correctly, too. So should, should. So add this to your vocabulary, should. Should I take notes? Yes, you should take notes. So I want you to practice uh, using these words in a sentence as well. That's why I give you sentences that you can write down. Okay, so we already have when, where, what, and why uh, as some of the words uh, that, that start with WH. I got some marker on me. Some of you, you can write some more words that start with WH if you would like to um, in the... Uh, in the uh, comments, what about the word wheel? My bicycle wheel broke. Wheel. Like a bicycle wheel. Or the wheel on my skate broke. Okay, because we already have where, when, why, or what. We already had that down. Now the next two letters for the prefix. Oh, did I give you all which? I don't know if I told you the word which. Oh yeah, I told you that already. Okay, so the next two letters for the prefix are ST. ST, such as top. If any of you know some more words that start with ST, you can write them in the chat because I want you all to be interactive. I want you thinking. Here's one word, stop, write that down on the card. ST has the st sound and then OP has the op sound. St, op, stop, S-T-O-P, stop. Okay, another word is store. I'm writing the words in the chat first, and you can write them down on the cards with me. Store. New people who just came in, please give me a thumbs up on the video. I should have 12 likes already. Let me check to see if I have at least 12 likes. Oops. Okay. Thank you. I have only eight likes. I should have 12 likes, everybody, please. Okay. Store still, great. And uh, Luke Bernard wrote still, great job. Emma wrote stock, excellent. Okay, this word is store, st, or. O-R-E has the or sound. You know, like a ship in the, we're out on a ship in the, well, I, that, that word is actually shore, but like you, like you have an or, but store. I'm, I am going to the store today, store. Star, great job, Karen. Uh, let's see, okay, so I'm gonna add first the word stop. And you can never have too many words that are part of your vocabulary. You can never have too many words. This uh, is like the stock market. I purchased some stock on the stock market. Stock, st -ock. The C and K both have that cuss sound. So you only need to say that cuss sound only once. Stock. 
stock, S-T-O-K, excuse me, S-T-O-C-K, stock. Okay, and also still, I'm going to write that down. Ill, and the word ill, like if somebody's sick, excuse me, if someone is sick and they say that they are ill today, that is actually spelled I-L-L. So it's kind of like you have two words in one, st, ill, still, S-T-I-L-L. I still don't understand, or I still do understand. I still do like you, okay? Uh, good evening, class. Okay, thank you, Kareem. Okay, so what we're doing now, uh, Kareem, is we're writing down some words that begin with different uh, prefixes or words that uh, uh, two letters that you would see at the beginning of some words. These are prefixes. Uh, so far, I wrote down S T W H. I wrote down S T W H and uh, S H. Okay, that's what I wrote down so far. Okay, and star, star like green. R, that A has that off sound and R has the R sound. St R, star, S T A R. I see a star in the sky. Okay, that's a very good word. Okay, and steer. Okay, steer. Okay. S T E E R. I will steer the car wheel. Like steering mean like to guide. S T E E R. St e that E has sound here has the E E sound ear. Now this ear, E-E-R, is not the same as this ear. <laughs> but anyway, it's st ear, st ear, S-T-E-E-R. Very good. All right, and for the S-H, the Lely wrote shave, you know, like your shaving cream. Okay, that's a good one for the S-H. Okay, and we don't have to just use learn the words that I write. I want you all to contribute too. Shave, shave. That e is kind of a soft e sound on the end, so it's sh a. That a has the a sound. Sh a v. That v e has the v sound. Sh a v. It's important that you understand how to. Um, how to sound each of the letters in, in groups. That's what we're doing. We're slowly figuring out the sounds that the letters make next to each other. Then we can put it all together to make one sound. This is how you teach yourself to read. You can teach yourself how to read. Okay, so write this down. Th these are gonna be part of our quiz words. Shave, okay. Um, I already said shop. Did I say shop? Okay. Shop. Okay, never mind those dashes. Okay, did I already write shop? Okay, I already wrote shop earlier. And shop, okay. Everybody, please thumbs up the video. Okay. All right. Now the next word. Uh, okay. B L. This is the next prefix. B L. B L makes the blah sound. Blah. B has the bus sound. 
and L has the L sound for low, low, blah, blah. Okay, so write down some words in the chat that start with BL. Here's one, the word black, like the color black. Okay. Black. Remember the C and K together makes makes one K sound. Blah. A has the A sound in this word. Blah. A. Blah. A. Black. 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 B L A C K. Black. Okay, Kareem. You said my son is watching with him want you to say hi to him his name is riley hi riley it is so very wonderful to see you thank you for tuning in with us today riley thank you so very much i want to welcome you to class <laughs> okay everyone else you want to write some words that start with b l okay this is your chance to practice this will let me know that you have an understanding of it's not always about spelling the word, it's about understanding the sounds that the letters make. I want you to try to spell some words. Okay. Bay, bay, bay. Is that what you wrote, uh, Galele? You were spelling the word baby. If you were spelling baby, baby is B A B Y. Okay. What about the word block? Block. Blah. Ock, the O has the ah sound. Bless night, countess. Okay, the word bless, we'll write that down in just a moment. Blah, O has the O, o has the ah sound here. And then the CK has the K sound. Blah, ah, blah, ah, block, block, block. B L O C K, block. Write that down. Okay, the next word is bless. Thank you, Countess, for that word. Bless. Blah. E. E has the E sound. And we have two letter S's here, but we only need to pronounce one of the S's. So S. Blah, s, blah, s, bless, 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 b l e s s, bless. And I have a another. Um, well, I will get to that in just a moment. But another word with the word bless in it. That word is bless that I just wrote. It's spelled just like the word bless at the beginning, except we have two little two letters at the end, and those letters are E D. So just like bless right here, B L E S S, you see B L E S S there. Except when you say bless, you add the letters ED on the end. Uh, you can say the Lord will bless you. Or you can say I am blessed or you are blessed with the ED on the end. Okay. All right. For the SH letters, uh, we have uh, Kareen wrote sheet. Good. We can add that for SH. And again, you can never learn too many words. You know, there's no right or wrong way for us to have this class as far as what words we learn. Sheet. Sh. S-H has the sh sound. We have two letters, E's. The E in this word has the E sound, E. And the T has the T sound, sh. E. T. Sh. E. T. Sh. E. T. Sh. E. T. Sheet. 
S-H-E-E-T. May I have a sheet of paper, please? Okay, very good. Okay, another BL word. Oops, another BL word right there. See if you can pronounce that word, class. Try to pronounce it on your own before I tell you. You should be writing it down on in your notebook as well as on the index card. Let's sound it out to see if we can figure out what this word is. Blah. I'm the blah. I'm the blah. I'm the blah. I'm the blind. Blind. This word is blind. B L I N D. Blind. The student is blind. He cannot see. Okay. So I hope you all are learning how to sound out the letters and how to run the sounds together to pronounce the word. This is so very important. That's why at the beginning of each class, I go over the sounds uh, that each letter makes at the beginning. And unfortunately, I see uh, in, in the uh, settings where a lot of people are only watching maybe about eight minutes of the video or they might skip over sections. That's not good. That's not helping you. This is the most important part, learning the sounds that the letters make. Okay, and you can put any more words that have that start with BL. Okay, also blue. Yes, I went over the colors before. I actually wrote the word blue before in these colors. Oh yeah, here it is. Um, because I went over the, I had these left over from the video where I went over the 18 color. Well, really, it ended up being 20 colors. <laughs> I miscounted 20 colors, but I already had blue written down. Great, uh, Kareem. Blah. I hope you can see this. Blah. Ooh. Now, you can, the, the, the U has the U sound, but it's very, very soft. And the E sound is very soft but it's pronounced blue, blue, B-L-U-E, blue, like the color blue. So yes, you can add that to your vocabulary as well. Uh, he has on a blue pair of jeans, okay? And uh, he says, thank you. Okay, you're welcome, Riley. You are very welcome, okay? And so some of you, you can write sentences using these words. Uh, in the chat, and I will check their sentences. Okay. Um, let's see. Another word is, let me write this here, and see if you can pronounce this word on your own before I tell you what the word is. And again, you can start writing some, oh, oh, sorry. Luke, um, Luke Bernard, I did not see your word there. Let's see, let me check something. Okay. Okay, I see B-L-U-N-T, blunt. Okay, very good, uh, Luke Bernard. Okay, I'm gonna write that word down as well. Okay, Luke Bernard said, see if you can pronounce this word on your own before I tell you. Blah, the U here has the uh sound, okay? I know earlier I was telling you that the U had the U sound when I went over these but sometimes the sound changes depending on the word. And um, so we have to sometimes wait till we find a different word before I, we can tell you the different sounds it makes because I don't want to confuse you. So blah, uh, mm, t, blah, uh, mm, t. The N has the um sound and the T has the T sound. Blah, uh, mm, t, blah, uh, 
blunt, blunt, B-L-U-N-T, blunt. He, he said something very blunt to me. You know, blunt is like a, like somebody's being uh, rude in a way. Um, it says a person, uh, like somebody's being very straightforward. They're being very direct, blunt. Okay, like I say, like I might say, you need to tie your shoes. And the way that I said it is very direct. Instead of my saying, uh, your shoelaces are untied. But if, if that would be a nice way to say it. But if I just say, you need to tie your shoes, that's a blunt way to say it. It's very direct. Okay, blow your eyes. Okay, Dammy, very good. Blow. I accidentally told you what the word is. Blah. Oh, now this, in this word, the O has the O sound. Blah, oh. And the W is a soft W sound. Blah, oh. Blah, oh. Blow, blow. B-L-O-W, blow. Or you might say, blow out the candles. Or please blow up my balloon. Blow your eyes. Good. That's a good sentence. Oh, blueberries. That's one of my favorite uh, fruits. <laughs> I should have thought of that one earlier. Blueberries. Okay, so blueberries actually has two words. Blue, I'm writing that in the chat. And, and also the word berries. So you can write blue on one's card and you can write berries on one card. Uh, and then on another flash card, you can put them two together and write the word blueberries. You know, blueberries is the wonderful fruit. Blue, ooh, blue, be. B E has that best sound, be, and we have two letter R's for the rus sound, and I E S has that E's sound. Blue bear breeze. Blue bear. The B E R has that bear sound and reese, R I E S. Reese. Blueberries. Blue ocean. Very good, Galilee. Okay. Let's go on to the next uh, prefix. The next one is CL. CL. Write that down. CL has the, see if you can pronounce what, how this would be, uh, Pronounce, see if you can say what this would sound like. C has the k sound, L has the l sound. So now let's run that sound together. Cl, cl, cl. Can you think of a word, words that start with CL? Click. Very good, Demi. Let's write these words down. on your index cards and in your notebooks. Cl, cl, I has the I sound in this word and CK has the K sound. Cl, I, K, cl, I, K, click, 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 C-L-I-C-K, click. Once you understand the sounds that the letters make, then you can learn how to spell the words. Some of you are trying to learn how to spell a whole bunch of words and that's not gonna help you. Cause that, that's a whole lot on your memory. You can better learn how to spell a word once you understand the sounds that the letters make. Okay, and that should make plenty of sense. Okay, Demi wrote clock 
Excellent. Let's write that down as well. Good job, Demi. That was one of my words, too, that I wrote down. Cl o has the aw sound in this word. And CK has what sound class? K cla ock. 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 Clock. C L O C K. Clock. Okay, if you all will start writing some sentences in the chat so I can check your sentences using some of the words that we've learned either today or at any time. And then I will check your sentences. We only have a few minutes left. Okay, and this is one of my words that I use a lot. And you all need to know how to spell this word. Class. Cl as the two letter S's, you only need to say s once. Cl ad, the A has the ass sound. S cl ass, class, class, C L A S S, class. Okay, let me write class in the chat. Okay, okay, Kareem wrote L A. Good. Okay, let me write another word that just came to mind. See if you can pronounce this word. Okay, and again, if anybody wants to come on the screen to pronounce anything, or if you want to come on the screen to ask any questions, you can do that because it's almost time for us to close out today. If you have any questions or if, uh, you know, you have uh, anything that you want to say, you can come on the screen. Okay. Cl A has the A ah sound in this word, and P has the P sound. Cl A P. Cl A P. Clap. Clap. C L A P. Clap. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Closet. Oh, wonderful. Great. Luke Bernard, thank you. This is another word that you will use a lot. Cl, O has the ah sound in this word. S, S has the s sound. And ET has that et sound. Usually when you see ET at the end of a sentence, it, it has the et sound. E has the e eh sound, and T has the t sound, et. Cla, cla, os, et. Cla, os, et. Closet, closet, closet. C-L-O-S-E-T, closet. There's, uh, the clock is ticking. Great. Thank you, Demi. But remember to capitalize the first word in the sentence. The clock is ticking. And definitely on this class and put a period in, definitely the clock is ticking. Or you can, in that sentence, you can also end it in an exclamation point, depending on how you say it. Okay, I see a word within a word. Can somebody write in the chat the other word that you see inside of this word? What is another word that you can get out of this word? Write it in the chat. Can anybody figure it out? It's spelled almost like this. As a hint. Okay, I'm going to start typing. Can anybody figure it out? Okay, I'm gonna put it in the chat. The word is close. It's spelled, I'm just gonna write it. Well, I put it in the chat so you can add it to your card and in your notebook.
Okay, this word is closet. The closet door will close. <laughs> you can say, remember closet has that ET, that it sound. The I'm gonna write a sentence, the closet door will close. Cl, O has the O sound in this word. The E is very soft, you hardly hear it. Cl, O's, Cl, O's, close, close, close the door. Okay, very good, uh, Galele. Um, let me write my sentence, the closet door will close. Okay, that says the closet door will close. Okay, and Galele wrote, I love flower. So let me, uh, that's good that you wrote, capitalized the first word in the sentence, uh, Galele. Okay, I'm going to rewrite that for you. I love flowers. Now, I put an S on the end of flowers. I love flowers, meaning more than one. But if you want to just talk about one flower, one particular flower, Galele, then you would write, I love um, you can say, I love this flower. Like if I have a flower in my hand, pretend like this is a flower, I would say, I'm talking to someone, I love this flower. But if you're just, uh, if you're talking about more than one flower, then you can say, I love flowers with the S on the end. Okay, Luke Bernard wrote, this is their apartment. Wonderful. The only thing I need you to do is capitalize the uh, first word and write a period at the end. This is their apartment. And you, spell, you spelled there correctly. T-H-E-I-R meaning that they own the apartment. Classroom. Very good job, uh, Kareem. Very good job. That's spelled correctly. Demi wrote, please close the closet door. Excellent. And just remember to capitalize the first word in the sentence. Close the closet door and write the period at the end. Oops. Okay, and we have another word that starts with uh, the CL. I'm going to write that and see if you can pronounce this word. Okay, write this word that I just put in the chat, and that will be our last word of today because we've gone slightly over. I'm going to write this on the card. Okay, see if you can pronounce this word. Everybody, please give a thumbs up. One second. See if you can pronounce that word. This word, uh, also, if you want to give a donation, if you would click that link that I just posted, cl o has the O sound in this word, TH has the the sound, and the ES has the S sound, but it's very soft. cl o clothes, clothes. clothes. The TH in this word is actually kind of silent, but it's very soft. You hardly hear it. Close. You, you're really not pronouncing the TH in the word when you say it, but you have to write it down when you spell it. I am wearing clothes. You are wearing clothes. Let's go um, to, well, that would be a different word, but you can say I am wearing clothes. You are wearing clothes. I like to buy clothes. This means like a garment or a shirt or, or a dress, a pair of pants, those are clothes. Okay, great, and that's spelled C-L-O-T-H-E-S. And Demi wrote, she has my clothes. Okay, that's very good, Demi, but let's just capitalize the first word and put the period on the end. 
she has my clothes. Very good. All right. And we had so much fun today. We learned so many words uh, for your homework. I want you to write uh, 10 sentences using the words that you've learned all the way up to this point. You can use words from the first, second, third, or this fourth lesson today. Um, I want to ask everybody to give a thumbs up to my video. Okay, I have 11 thumbs up and I have 13 people watching. So somebody did not give me the thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, also, if you want to, um, okay, Countess wrote, he has my clothes. Very good. Very good. And just remember to write the period at the end. And um, let's see. Also, if you want to purchase anything uh, concerning uh, my reading paraphernalia that I design, then that's my shop there if you want to support adult literacy. And uh, again, you can click my PayPal me if you want to give any donation. These classes are free, but any amount that you can contribute towards my channel would be a huge help. I, I really do enjoy doing this, uh, teaching this class. There's no place else on YouTube where you can go for uh, classes twice a week, at least for the next uh, eight weeks or so here on YouTube. Share the video with anyone who you know is struggling to read. I want you all to practice the sounds because the next class is gonna be this Thursday. Uh, the next class is gonna be this Thursday, July uh, 29th at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, Bruce wrote BL and CL, I need to work on this week. So BL has the plus sound and CL has the clus sound. Okay, I want you all to get someone to review with you the index cards, the various words that we wrote on the index cards. I want you to get someone to quiz you every day because some of you, you only learn when you come to class. Some of you skip class. Some of you don't practice your words at home. Some of you don't practice writing your sentences at home. Some of you don't even watch the entire video because like I said, I look, at, I look in the uh, settings and I can see where some of you have only watched eight minutes of the video after it's posted live on YouTube. And that, that's not gonna help you. Some of you have not been uh, reading for years and how is it gonna help you to learn to read to only watch eight or five minutes of a video? You have to go back. If some of you missed any of the previous lessons, you have to go back to the first lesson because there's something important that you missed. And see, I want you to get the benefit of learning all these words so you can learn to fish for yourself. Like the Bible says, you can learn to teach yourself to read because that's what this is about. There's a lot of stations here, a lot of channels here on YouTube. They say, okay, learn to read English in, in 30 minutes. Learn to read English in one hour. That That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. And a lot of you rush to those videos. Maybe not anybody in this particular session, but I'm just saying in general, people uh, who, who do not know how to read adults as they get older and older, then they are looking for uh, a, a get, like a get rich quick scheme, a get, uh, a get uh, a learn to read fast scheme. And that's, that's not, that's not how you learn to read. You have to learn the relationship between the sounds of each letter and you can pronounce any word. There's a lot of words that I've never seen before. You all have seen an actual dictionary. Haven't you You've gone to the library and seen a dictionary? That dictionary is about this thick. You think the average person knows every word in that dictionary? No, there's a lot of words in there that I'm seeing for the first time myself, even as somebody, that's teaching adults to read. But I know I have an understanding of the sounds that the letters make. And once you get that understanding, you can learn to pronounce any word. And then you can go, you can look online or look in a dictionary to find out whatever that word means. Okay, so I'm teaching you how to teach yourself to read, but you have got to understand the relationship that the sounds make together. That's how you learn to read, you sound out the sounds that each letter makes just like I did. And uh, if you need to watch the videos over and over again, please do that because that's what will help you. Thank you. Okay, you're you're okay. Kareem wrote clothes, that's correct, good job. And Demi wrote, thank you very much. I wanna thank all of you very much and thank you Demi, I appreciate that. And Bruce, I am blessed for your classes. Oh, that is so very sweet. That is so very sweet. I wanna thank all of you. Uh, for watching and let me see if I can um, put an emoji 
let's see. I'm gonna put this heart emoji in the chat. Okay, that's my appreciation for all of you. And then I want to send, let's see if I can get this together. Uh, it's so confusing to use this. Okay, I want to send all this to everyone for coming here and uh, and to everyone who participated. I want to send that to you as well. Okay, uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, and thank you for watching. Oops, I forgot to spell the first word. I forgot to capitalize the first word. <laughs> okay, so I'm capitalizing bye. <laughs> bye, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.